Hallelujah. Almighty God, we come before you this afternoon with joy in our hearts. As we take great pleasure, dear God, to celebrate this grand graduation ceremony. As the students pursue their voyage of wisdom and success and grasping their past, their heritage and the future of their challenges, dear God, we ask you to take over the proceedings and may your peace and Holy Spirit dwell with us now and forever. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning, everyone. The privilege is mine to welcome you to our graduation ceremony this morning. I do hope you have a blessed sitting with us. As we go forward, I just want to encourage you to trust in God and keep him at the center of all that you do. I also want to thank the parents for putting your child in our hands. I want to thank you for your support over the years. And I want to thank the students for all the hard work that they have done. So again, I want to just say welcome. Have a blessed day. Good afternoon, everyone. The pleasure is mine to bring greetings to you at this time. Hostess, Ms. Luenda Moore, Chairman of the Local School Board, Pastor Kurt Thomas, other members of the clergy, Principal and Secretary of the School Board, Mrs. Catherine Walcott, feature speaker, Mr. Darren Sandy, teachers and other members of staff, parents and guardians, other specially invited guests, graduates of Bates Memorial High School 2020. Greetings and well wishes on behalf of the South Caribbean Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. President, Pastor Leslie Moses, Executive Secretary, Pastor Paul Filbert, and Treasurer, Dr. Yvette Peters. Congratulations, or as we say in Spanish, felicidades. You have stayed the course of this very novel and difficult leg of your educational journey. Congrats also to your principal and teachers who had to make an overnight change in pedagogical methods due to the closure of the school building. Despite all of this, graduation is an exciting time. It intersects warm memories of the past and big dreams of the future. And we know that young people in particular love to dream. In fact, we should all have dreams. The difference is when we pursue the wrong paths because we didn't ask God for guidance. And as a result, we spend years and even a lifetime regretting our mistakes. But the Bible instructs us, in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct thy paths. And as your theme says, Pursue wisdom and success will pursue you. And we know that our Father is the source of all wisdom. So my advice to you graduates is to pursue God's wisdom and guidance in all that you plan to do. He will never lead you astray. To you parents, thank you for cooperating with us. And I also want to encourage you all to seek God's guidance because parenting during this pandemic also took on a new dynamic. And I know we will all come out of this better, wiser, and stronger by His grace. So again, on behalf of the Department of Education, under the directorship of Mrs. Jessica Cunningham, Assistant Director Mrs. Elma Frederick, and my colleague in supervision, Mrs. Adsama Youngson, we want to wish you God's speed, wisdom, and favor. Thank you. Graduation Speaker, Director of Education, Mrs. Jessica Cunningham, Board of Management, Principal, Mrs. Catherine Walcott, Hassa President, Teachers, Graduates, Parents, Special Virtual Guests. Their graduates, there comes a time in all of our lives when we must take a step that moves us from being a child to being an adult. High school graduation is one of the major steps in that direction. I wanted to take a moment to send this congratulation 
greeting to you on your graduation from high school. Sadly, in the world today, many teenagers do not finish school for a variety of reasons. You, however, have persevered through all the lectures, the term papers, and final exams to be one of those who will receive a diploma today. Please don't think this is any small accomplishment. I want you to know that I'm proud of you for this accomplishment. Now that high school is over, you will have some gro growing up decisions to make. Perhaps you will attend college. Maybe you will choose to enter directly into the workforce. Whichever path you take, know that I and the rest of the school board management will stand behind you and be rooting for your success. The text says, Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1, it says, Remember thou thy creator in the days of thy youth. I do, I do want to um, admonish you to include the Lord in every decision that you make. He knows what is best for us, and we should seek his will while we are young, so that our lives can include everything he wants for us. Up until this point, the big decisions have largely been made for you. Now that you are embarking upon another experience and a new environment, you will need to make more and more of the major decisions for yourself. The good news is that your Heavenly Father is there for you, to guide you and to help you to be successful in the path you choose. Again, I wish you a heartfelt congratulation and I look forward to seeing what the next phase of your life will bring. Keep God first in all you do and he will continue to bless you. On behalf of the Board of Management of the South Caribbean Conference and the School Board of the Bates Memorial High School, we say congratulations to you. May God bless you. I bring you greetings from the Home and School Association of Bates Memorial High. It is with pride, sadness, and excitement that I offer you these words today. We are proud of you for having stayed the course. You are here. You have made it. We are saddened because we know that your time with us is now over. We have thoroughly enjoyed working with and for you. Now, it's time for you to chart your own course to make your way in this world. This class of 2020 is why we are also excited. Excited to witness how you navigate in your new territory. As you do so, please remember one thing for each year that you would have spent at Bates. Matthew 2016, the last shall be first and the first last. For many are called, but few chosen. Second Chronicles 2017, ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourselves, stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord. O class of 2020, fear not, and be not dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Proverbs 2018, plans are established by seeking advice. So if you wage war, obtain guidance. Proverbs 2019, a gossip betrays a confidence. So stay away from those who talk too much. Acts 2020. Bates Memorial High has kept nothing back that was profitable unto you, but have showed you and have taught you publicly and house to house. John 20, 21. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace be unto you. As God hath sent us through Bates, even so, we send you. Class of 2020, go forth and live well. We will now have a presentation from our principal, Mrs. Catherine Walcott. Chairman of the Bates School Board, Pastor Kurt Thomas. School Supervisor, Ms. Louisa Bramble. Featured Speaker, Mr. Darren Sand. Parents, guardians, invited guests, well-wishers, class of 2020. The Bates family welcomes you 
to the graduation of the class 2020. Indeed, it is a day of celebration. With celebration comes joy and happiness to those who are involved. And because we have all been working towards this day, we can now enjoy the moment. Sacrifices were made, challenges were faced. Sometimes we felt like giving up, but God kept us going. Our children have come to the end of another phase of their precious life. Today we feel so much pride knowing that with God all things are possible. Certainly we have a reason to celebrate. Let's just give God praise and thanks for this achievement. We know that he will continue to support us as we earnestly toil with the youth so that they can become positive and productive individuals wherever life may lead them. Welcome. Today you are leaving the safe walls of Bates Memorial High School of SD. Life is not meant to be stagnant. You are moving on. Congratulations. I know your firm intention is to maintain the spiritual and social values you have acquired within these walls. But be aware it will not be easy. Society will not always appreciate your efforts. You have to be strong. God will be on your side. Do not give up. Do not hesitate to set your goals. Let the leading hand of God take you to where you want to be. There are times when you will become discouraged. Failure may stare you in the face, but I advise you, do not despair. The God you learned about during your years at Bates will never fail you. Stay connected to him and watch your life soar to great heights. God's richest blessing loves you all. We shall now be favored with a special item of music done by Mrs. Afisha Homer John, after which you will be hearing the voice of Miss Malika Kwaku who will introduce to us the speaker.
every failure, God. You'll have every victory. everyone that is seated here at the base memorial 2020 graduation this afternoon it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a dynamic hard-working self-motivated gentleman he was born in 1987 in the community of Maloney where his love for God pushes his constant desire to prove his improve his community and empower his peers with his writings and performances. Through his art, characters are heroized and they embrace the oppressive system that they overcome them through introspection of the current historical moment. The art is tragic, it's passionate, comical and enlightened. This speaker mimics the Bible text Matthew 5, 15 to 16, which reads, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And he does this in every performance. This afternoon, I would like to introduce to you one of Trinidad and Tobago's top performers of the arts under the Ministry of Education, a past teacher of Bates Memorial High School, Mr. Darren Sandy. My name is Darren Sandy and it's a pleasure and privilege to be able to bring this feature address to you all which is going to be very short because I know you're sitting down in front of the computer for some time and you're probably wondering when this is going to end. So take some time now to take a big stretch, make yourself comfortable. Um, I'm a performance poet and an artistic director but most of all I'm a former teacher right at Bates Memorial High School and it's a pleasure to come back and speak to you all. Today I want to talk a little bit about wisdom and success. Sometimes it's so easy to understand what wisdom is and what wisdom requires us to do but sometimes it's a bit harder to actually go about doing that. And I'm going to talk to you in the form of a poem today. But before I go into the poem, I want you to consider this story. Now there's this beautiful butterfly living inside a big mansion, a big house. And the butterfly always wanted to go outside and let the world see how beautiful he, or in your case, she, how beautiful it is. So the butterfly always used to try to escape, but the butterfly was owned by a man. And the man decided, here what's going on, butterfly? It's not your time to escape as yet. So one day the butterfly decide, I'm going to escape. So he took off, going towards the nearest window. The old man saw him and he, he closed the window. The butterfly said, nah, I won't let that stop me. So he headed to the door. The old man saw him and he closed the door. The butterfly said, nah, I have this, this next window behind. But the old man was always one step ahead. And by the time the butterfly reached that back door, window was already shut. Then the butterfly said, I could get out. Because there's this one window high, high up. Somewhere in the attic, the old man couldn't reach there. And the butterfly decided that it's gonna escape through that space up in the attic. And so he did. 
He squeezed through a little space, forcing his way out, knowing that this was freedom. And this is the way out. He squeezed, he squeezed, and ah! The butterfly outside now. No sooner did an owl swoop down and grab him up whole, swallowing the butterfly. Proverbs is a book of wisdom, a collection of wisdom. And in the first chapter, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Sometimes we think what is best for us and we wise in our own eyes. Bujubantan did say it once in a song, you know, quoting from Proverbs as many of these reggae artists do. And he talked about that. And we wise in our own eyes, not understanding how foolish our ways are. So if you don't know the Lord, how you will know wisdom or success. I want to tell you a story about two friends. Sometimes so close we can call them sisters or brothers, depending on how you interpret metaphors. They both look the same in physical appearance. They appear in the same places, order the same food, they have the same interests. One of them is a bit more outgoing while one stays reserved. That outgoing one challenges boundaries. The reserved one prefers to be preserved. The one that challenges boundaries has feet that flirt with consequence. The one who prefers preservation has feet that filter away from mischief. So I guess even though they both resemble, they are a bit different. The first one was born out of laziness, lack of will to wish for discipline. Some things were not worth listening. Let me give you a list of his life choices. When he wakes up, he catches up on the conversation he fell asleep on or finishes the flick on Netflix or his preferred social media platform. He forgets to check the time. Not that time matters because apparently he is in control of sunrise. He flatters himself by ensuring he has a fresh profile pic. By the time he gets up, he depends on those around him for sustenance. He eats the bread of someone else's labor, not caring where the bread come from. He complains about the baker's choice of grain. How does bread tasting so funny like it come from where the police from the susu raid pushy money no word of thanks but criticism are cavities on his front teeth this person makes deals they can't keep hangs their wallet where they cannot reach but hopes that the debt will be paid in some way they refuse to compete with the changing tides of the times when things get hard they already willing to turn to crime but somehow they always find a crew because the only thing better than doing something stupid is getting people to do it with you. This person is adroit at loitering. They will praise you when you're faltering. They look upon success as if it is the worst thing the world is offering. Any rab start, they in the middle, not involved, just encouraging. For they never get caught, but they watch the fall of others and the joy their mischief brought. Sometimes, some even make it far enough to brag. I hope people like that in Sendong right now watching this Beats grad. This person has a series of acts, some you may be familiar with. Doing things without regretting it, this person usually ends up in a mess. Here are some of the things this person answered to and said yes. Eh, uh, you feeling to go behind the school and take two pull? Eh, uh, you know when you eat a food you just feel full? Eh, uh, you wanna go down by the beach in quarantine? To study nobody's a private bitch we could always get in eh that homework not making sense eh that teacher out of time and let me give she two f's eh that's smally <laughs> eh yeah that's smally eh you sending him the pics eh you sharing all the flicks eh anything she want do stick eh this is happening down valencia come down quick and after answering yes to all these things, this person swings on the consequences of their decisions. And that swing follows the person for days to come to and from a pendulum of uncertainty. This person, this person's name is Folly. Folly often fixates itself near wisdom. People often mistake one for the other one and though they show up in the same places and are present on the same faces, there is a distinction between them if we watch the phases of their days. When wisdom awakes, he makes his maker the marker for his day. Off his bed, 
on his knees. He forsakes earthly needs and breathes in a breath of spirited air in order to achieve. During the day, he searches for his place in the future. He values his tomorrows and never needs any misplaced truths to set him off his trail. He sees things plain when others need in braille. His ears is always turned to insight. In spite of the presence of folly all wrong, wisdom sees the sweetness in mischief, but know that it is pain to the gall. Wisdom understands that sleepless nights are needed for restful days. Wisdom looks at the ant and notes that in spite of its size, the ant finds its advantages. Wisdom walks around with a heart of gratitude for even if it has a little, it knows to use all bridges that were put down for his advancement. Wisdom goes beyond mere academic intelligence. Wisdom sees, feels and flees evil before it manifests offers water to fire instead of gasoline and matches. Wisdom is constantly marching to righteousness. For there's no success if we miss the essence of this. Wisdom approaches questions a bit differently. He weighs the results and answers cautiously. It's like weighing the options in an important election. Besides, wisdom always faces some different questions like, eh, you look at the options available after CXC, eh, what about the trade you were thinking about to add to your biography? Eh, you make time to volunteer for the community? Eh, don't forget the Lord who brought you through. How to grow spiritually? Eh, the smallie, don't call her that, call her by name. What are you going to do to get to know her better, to build a friendship? Eh, remember your dreams and aspirations? Eh, remember how important is your patience? Eh, remember the end goal is heavenly raiment? This is how wisdom thinks, which distances himself far from folly. Wisdom reaches into the realm of your soul to ensure you succeed. Wisdom is not measured in grade ones and twos. Wisdom is measured in how you decide to move with the things you have. While some people taking time to brag, some taking time to plan, to land themselves in a proper position, ready to navigate life's challenges. That is wisdom's mission. The call today is to be wise, to be wise in the eyes of God. That is the true pathway to success. Good afternoon to our education director, school supervisors, treasurer, chairman of the school board, administration and staff of Meath Memorial High School, parents, graduates and well-wishers. My name is Yakim Zane McEwen and it is an honor to have been selected to respond on behalf of the 2020 graduating class of Beast Memorial High School. On behalf of the graduating class of 2020, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our featured speaker Mr. Deron Sandy for watering our souls with his words of affirmation that remind us that amidst the storms of life we can seek god for knowledge wisdom and understanding to make wise choices and be successful i would also like to thank him for his words of encouragement that stirs us to remember that the measurement of success is not by what grades you attained or how much you will make but how many lives you positively impact on the legacy you will leave Therefore, as we get ready to navigate and embrace life's challenges, Mrs. Zanli, we will remember our dream and aspiration. We will take heed to true wisdom which comes from God and we will accept the call to be wise in the eyes of God, which is the true pathway of success. Thank you. Thank you so much, Zane. Another item of music will be rendered to us by one of our very own students, Miss Marie Celine Henry. <laughs> Go. 
Madam Principal. These students have attended our school, some of them for one year, two years, three, four, and even some even five. They have run the course and they have finished the race. To our graduating class, we wish them all the best. And as I always tell them, keep their feet on the ground, but keep reaching for the stars. Always remember where you have come from. Remember your school. Remember those who helped you to get where you are. But always keep reaching for the stars. Keep reaching for excellence. As you join the alumni of our school that have made their way in life and become model citizens. Madam Principal, I present to you the graduating class of 2020. Recipients will be awarded prizes for the varying subjects for this year graduation 2020. The awardees are Zane McEwen, first awardee for mathematics, Daniel Singh, second awardee for mathematics, Daniel Singh, first awardee for English A. Taisha Marshall, first awardee for English B. Dominique Lowe, second awardee for English B. Brianna Gopi, first awardee for Spanish. Zane McEwen, first awardee for Chemistry. Zane McEwen, first awardee for Physics. Zane McEwen, first awardee for Biology. Crystal Lowe, Second awardee for biology. Daniel Singh, first awardee for human and social biology. Hakim Jawahir, the second awardee for human and social biology. Daniela, oh, Daniela Edwards, food and nutrition. Second awardee goes to Destiny Burke for food and nutrition. Zane McEwen for social studies is the first awardee. Hakim Jawahir, second awardee for social studies. Hakim Jawahir for history, first awardee. Taisha Marshall, second awardee for history. Christy Lowe, 
for geography, she's the first awardee. Mikhail Dizitao, second awardee for geography. Zane McEwen, principles of accounts, first awardee. Daniel Singh, second awardee for principles of accounts. Daniel Singh for principles of business, first awardee. Hakim Jawahir, second awardee for principles of business. Daniel Singh, Office Administration, first awardee. Brianna Gopi for Office Administration, she's the second awardee. Brittany Ramlogan for Electronic Documentation Preparation and Management, first awardee. And for Information Technology, Daniel Singh, first awardee, and second awardee, Faith Carrington. We will now have our valedictorian's address from one of our students from the graduating class of 2020, Mr. Daniel Singh. Representative of the South Caribbean Conference of SDA, featured speaker, President of Bates Alumni, Mr. Carlos Duncan, parents, special invited guests, and graduating class of 2020. Good afternoon. I am honored to be representing the graduating class of 2020 and celebrate the memories and accomplishments of our class. The graduates of this year future engineers, doctors, nurses, entrepreneurs, accountants, scientists, artists, and the list goes on. We are all hardworking, and as we enter a new chapter of our lives, we look forward to achieving bigger success. This is a time where we, as graduates, come together to celebrate our accomplishments, but unfortunately this year, not physically. This year we graduate on Zoom. Who thought this day would have come? It may not be as fun as gathering together, but we have made a lot of memories through the past five years. Memories that cannot be replaced. We have been through so much together. We are a unique class. We are, have our ups and downs, but at the end, we work together and we grew together. As you look back on the five years, there are some memories that cannot be replaced, such as our mischievous moments, sports day, career day, class competitions, aerobatons, and many more events. But we can't forget how much fun we had in the home lab. Back, back and forth, one to three, where we bake and cook and compete against each other. There will never be no days like this, where the entire class introduced themselves with a false name to Pastor Giovanni, and he actually fell for it. I remember when we forgot to do our homework and hustled to finish it before class. I didn't even know I could have written an essay in five minutes. When we heard we had a pop quiz next, all of a sudden, all heads in a book revising. Good days. There are, phrases, there are phrases that stuck with us forever. As we know from our very own Mr. Hernandez, every time CXC exams is near, <laughs> he repeats, when the poetry starts to bloom, it is too late. And Miss Hamlet always reminded us, she even writes it on the, on the whiteboard, hard work pays off. All of our teachers are very inspiring and hardworking. Yes, we had our bad days, but at the end of the day, they put in more than 100% education, educators. True, back to when the school had electrical issues and the Sanders took us outside and take Bristol board on the wall and use it as a whiteboard. Other teachers used to sacrifice their, their lunch break to help us with our SBAs. Some would create WhatsApp groups to assist us if we miss a day from school. I would like to thank all the teachers of Bates Moral High for having the patience with us to educate us and there were no better teachers we could have asked for. We are also thankful for the families. They supported us and paid our school fees since day one. Thanks mom, dad, granny, grandpa, everyone else today 
I will not be here without you. Finally, I would like to thank my fellow classmates for the best five years of Base Moral High School. You all made each day worthwhile. As we move on, your presence will be missed. However, I look forward to seeing my classmates successful and receiving great news about them. I wish you all the best in your future. New chapter, more decisions. And I pray that God will guide you into success and happiness. On this graduation day, I see our heroes in front of me and my computer screen in this Zoom graduation. I have seen at my years at Base Moral how we all have the potential to aim for the stars. We all have separate goals and we will leave here to fulfill our dreams. When you leave the Zoom meeting, celebrate what you have accomplished. You may not have a graduate hat on your head, but in your, in your heart, you know that you have made it this far and you will leave with joyous memories. And Base Moral High School will always be in our hearts. Congratulations to the class of 2020. demonstrated exceptional achievement in a variety of scholarly, extracurricular, and leadership activities. The Willie Joseph Scholar Award. This award is bestowed by Dr. Judy Joseph Hilbert to honor the memory of a compassionate teacher, past principal, advisor, and confident Mr. Willie C. Joseph, and also extend appreciation for his commitment to directing and influencing students into academic excellence. The recipient of the cash prize of 1,000 US dollars will be selected from among the Form 5 student body of the Bates Memorial High School. The individual will be selected on the conditions of having demonstrated outstanding academic achievement and significant contribution and support for the founding principles of Bates Memorial High School. However, Final selection can be based on a com combination of financial need and academic achievement. The scholarship consists of a one-time award that is directly towards the student's tuition and fees at the tertiary level. The privilege is mine to bestow this award to Mr. Zay Mahim. Congratulations and may God schools of the prophets. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as we take a trip down memory lane. The year 2019 has been a memorable one, full of many highlights. Our tour of 2019 begins with our various teams. This year, our boys under 17 basketball team caught the award for most disciplined team both on and off the field. While our girls netball team held their heads high as they faced off against the zonal powerhouses of Toko Secondary and Malabar Secondary. Other activities. As we trudge along, Sports Day at Bates Memorial High was a sight to behold as the various houses came together to show off their sporting prowess. Not to be forgotten would be our various clubs, such as the Environmental Club, that held a cleanup activity on the beach 
and even started a recycling drive at the school. Of course, members of the photography club were there to document some of those memories. Even, they even documented our Spanish Heritage Week. At Bates Memorial High, we believe that learning does not take place only in the classroom but outside too, as our students attended internship trainings at Point Pier Wildfowl Trust, overnight field trips to Grand Riviere for turtle watching, and so much more. This year, once again, our CSEC grades reflected the hard work and dedication of our teachers and students as we scored an 80% overall CSEC pass rate. And a 100% pass rate was recorded in many subjects. We see to God be the glory. This year saw a significant change as our uniform was changed to reflect the new push of our school beyond prestige. Our enrollment has also increased and is now holding firm at over 100 students with more students to be added the next term. We want to say praise God for he has done great things. As we press towards excellence, all of this would not be possible without the help of our master teacher, Jesus Christ. For indeed, he makes all things possible. From the induction of our first honor roll students, to our students being named National Secondary School Entrepreneurship Competition Champion winners, two years in a row, God truly makes all things possible. As we continue to fly the banner high, Bates Memorial High, I now leave you with a short clip of our school choir at our end of year school concert. I thank you. Let my 
quickly coming to an end. The next three items would be the poem from our class poet, Taisha Marshall, and then the vote of thanks, which will be done by Ms. Risha Santville. After which, we'll have the closing prayer. Today is entitled Graduation. A celebration, a time to look back at, on our accomplishment that we made from the doors of primary school to the hallways of it. A time to remember those blossoming memories that was filled with laughter, tears, and mixed emotions. A celebration of working with us. A farewell. A time to say goodbye to teachers, friends we consider family, not by birth or by our beautiful forms. A time to treasure the memories we've made together and the lessons we've learned to meet. A farewell, but not better. A new beginning. A time to look forward to what the future has been urgently waiting to give us. A time to set new goals and dreams and make them into reality. A new beginning and a new adventure. Let us remember the values we've learned from Base Memorial. Let us carry the banner of truth and light as we embrace on this new journey. Let us not forget the prayers and the songs that we worship every day as we spend behind the holy gates of Grace Memorial High. Let us not forget to carry the banner high.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. All protocol observed. And it is my great pleasure to present the vote of thanks to you. It is said that the root of all goodness is in the soil of gratitude. So on behalf of the administration and staff of Bates Memorial High School, I would like to say thanks to God. Thanks to the President of the South Caribbean Conference, Pastor Leslie Moses. To the Administration of the South Caribbean Conference, our Education Director, Mrs. Jessica Cunningham. The Chairman of the School Board, Pastor Kurt Thomas. Our School Supervisor, Mrs. Lisa Bramble. The HASA President, Ms. Petra Ratton. Our Alumni President, Mr. Carlos Duncan. Thank you to our esteemed speaker, Mr. Darren Sandy, for your kind words, for your encouragement, and your motivation. We would like to say thank you to our principal, Mrs. Catherine Walcott. To our Vice Principal, Mrs. Thom Lewis. To our, our Administrative Secretary, Ms. Luenda Moore. To our School Chaplain, Pastor John Keith. To Ms. Marie Celine and to Ms. Tania Lou, thank you so much for tickling our taste buds with the, your musical chords. Thank you to our valedictorian, Mr. Daniel Singh. And thank you to our precious graduating class 2020. We are grateful of the time that you have known to us. Thank you to our parents for your support and your continued financial investment in this institution. We would like to say thank you to our ancillary and auxiliary staff. Thanks to our technological team. Thank you to Bates staff. Thank you for all your hard work, everyone. Thank you once. Thank you twice. Thank you. Right. Let us now stand and bow our heads reverently as we ask God to be with us and even more so be with our students and the graduating class of 2020. Dear Father, we thank you for all that you would have done for us. We thank you for your blessings and mercies and for providing and taking care of us and keeping us safe and healthy in these times, dear God. I thank you for the teachers, the principal, the senior teacher, and all stakeholders and shareholders of Bates Memorial High School. Thank you for the services that they would have rendered throughout the five years for the students of the graduating class. And I know that their efforts were not in vain. And I'm grateful that you would have found it within yourself, dear Father, to bless them for all of the hard work that they, that they would have put out in order to ensure that their charges would be successful in their examinations. As we're about to close the ceremony, dear God, I ask that you extend your mercies specifically towards the students of the graduating class of 2020. They're about to step out into the unknown and at times it can be a bit intimidating. Some to university, some to some form of trade, some to just regular work. Whatever it is there, they find themselves to do, Father. I ask that you watch over them, provide for them, grant them success in their future endeavors. I pray that you 
teach them how to be patient, teach them how to be conquerors, grant them courage, increase their faith, dear God. And I also ask that you bless their parents. We thank you for the parents, dear Father. They would have done so much to ensure that their children would be well taken care of and provided for. And I also, again, ask that you continue to bless everyone at Bates Memorial High School. Thank you for all that you would have done for us. And I ask, oh God, that when time shall be no more, that you can look at us all one by one and say, well done, enter into your kingdom. All of this we ask not in all will be done, but your will. This we ask in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Do have a pleasant evening.